All right, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to make a video about a web to case form, how to create a web to case form. So this is gonna be a form that you can embed in your website, for example, that will automatically route created cases into your Salesforce instance. Um, and I wanna mention that I did another video uh, about web to lead forms, which are essentially the cousin of the web to case. Uh, it's the same thing, it's a form you can embed and people can fill it out and it'll create a lead record in your Salesforce instance. So if that's something that's interesting to you, check that video out as well. Uh, last but not least, I also want to mention that if you would like the cases that are created by your web to case form to flow into a case queue, then I have a video about uh, queues, groups, and assignment rules that you can check out as well. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do as always is just log into Salesforce. And once I'm in Salesforce, in my quick find box, I'm just going to put in web. And under that service heading, I can see web to case and web to case HTML generator. So I'm going to open both of those in a separate tab. And first, let's go ahead and look at the web to case tab, which is essentially the settings. You can see I need to make sure it's enabled. So mine is already enabled. Uh, I don't want reCAPTCHA. I want to make sure that the origin is web. Uh, and this is the email template that it's going to send when I create a new one. So I'm going to take note of that. And actually, I'm going to come up here back to my quick find box and I'm going to put in email template and I'm going to open classic email templates in another tab. So once I open that, I can just go ahead and copy that email name, search for it and then open that up. I just want to take a look at this and I want to show you guys that you can actually edit these. So basically it says, dear case uh, name, thank you for contacting us, blah, 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 blah. And I can go ahead and, and edit this if I want to. I mean, it looks fine to me. It's pretty basic. It's just going to be plain text. But I can change whatever I want here uh, and save it. Or I can use a different email template entirely, uh, including an HTML template or a Lightning template, whatever it may be. So I'm going to close out of this. And my settings look good. I'm going to close out of those. And now I'm going to actually generate the form that we're going to use. So here on the right-hand side are the selected fields that will be generated. So I just want to use email, phone, subject, and description. And I don't want a reCAPTCHA. And I do want to uh, create a return URL. So I'm going to make, I'm going to put this on my website and I'm going to put thank you as the return URL. So now it generated my HTML for me. And all I need to do really is copy this HTML, open up a new page uh, on my website in my WordPress instance, give it a title, and I'm going to go to the code editor and I'm just going to paste that code directly in. And the only thing that's left is basically to remove the commented sections. So I'm going to go ahead and remove those commented sections, leave the rest, and this is the org ID. So this is how it knows to flow to my org, and this is the return URL. So this is where it's going to take us afterwards. So that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and publish this page uh, so that I can take a look at it. And if I click on view page right down there, what I can see is my form shows up as expected. So now the only thing that's left is to create a thank you page. So I'll click add new page again, and I'll create my thank you page. So this is super simple. I'm just going to create a title. Uh, I'm going to say your inquiry has been received. You'll receive an email confirmation shortly. And then I will give them a link to go back to the home page. So let me just set up that link really quickly. Everything looks good here. Um, I am going to publish this page now. And once I publish this page, I can, make f I can make sure the permalink is exactly the same as my return URL for my form. And now I can go ahead and fill this out and test. So I'll give it my email, I'll give it a fake phone number, I'll give it a subject and a description. And once I've done all that, I can just go ahead and submit my form and hopefully we'll end up, moment of truth, on our thank you page, yes. So it looks like it worked out. You can see the URL is correct and my link is working to take us back to the homepage. So if I go back to Salesforce and I open my service app, the first thing we're going to see is this awesome custom homepage that we recently designed in another video. But then we'll open up the Cases tab. And let's go to All Open Cases. And down there at the very bottom, I can see the case that was just created from my form. So I can check to make sure the email is correct, uh, the origin looks correct, the phone looks correct, and last but not least, subject and description. And of course, I can see an email was actually sent. So let's go check my email. And there it is. That's exactly the email that I was expecting to receive. 
Okay, so that's all for this one. If this was useful to you guys, uh, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you like this type of content and you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I appreciate you guys, and I will see you in the next one.